Hi, welcome to Keen's Mods. This is David and Noemi, and we're here to talk to you about our second annual bio blitz that we had happening at the Florida Keys in Big Pine and Key Largo. Yeah, so last year, 2017, we identified 228 species of moths in two nights, and we're curious to see how we do this year because we had Hurricane Irma come through. Uh, that's gonna affect the populations a little bit, but we're gonna check it out and see how we do. Come join us. <laughs> We kicked off for our second annual bio blitz in Big Pine Key at the Key Deer Refuge Visitor Center, which is this beautiful log cabin. And Christy Cullen was so awesome to host it for us. We had about 25 people join us yeah, that night. 25 and, people, yes, yeah, little ones. Ranges from little ones to um, big ones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. So the conditions weren't the best for moths. We had some rain all day. In fact, we got rained out a lot. It rained the entire drive down to the Keys. Mm. Uh, it, it was a little soggy. Um, the rain did clear though. We were able to put lights out, but we had this incredible full moon. It was, it was this strawberry moon thing. The moon was beautiful, wasn't it, honey? Yes, it was. It was actually something that I had seen for the first time. Yeah. So it was pretty amazing to be out there. So it was a beautiful moon, but not the best for moth uh, activity. Um, you see, the, the moonlight just competes with our lights too much, and we didn't have quite the moth a diversity that we would have had had we had a better moon. However, it was a beautiful setting. People came out, uh, kids came out, they were taking pictures of moths. Uh, Sophia and Lorenzo were taking pictures. We got some great uh, things. We, we actually identified 94 species of moths that night at Big Pine Key, so that was pretty cool. A lot of the moths that we find um, actually come out, they fly later in the evening. So our public event was only from seven to nine. Mm -hmm. But later in the evening, you know, two, three, four o'clock in the morning when, is when a lot of our moth species start to fly. So we leave the lights up all night and we wake up uh, a, little, a little early <laughs> to come back out and check out some moths. But uh, what I wanted to do is give you just a little photo gallery of some of the moths that we found that night on Big Pine Key. Check this out. So we stayed another night in Big Pine Key. We added a few more species to the list uh, of things. Yeah, that was awesome. The, the whole next day, the whole next day, uh, it, it rained off and on, but uh, me and the kids went out and we went and looked for some butterflies. Uh, we would love for you to check out uh, that video as well. And the best way to do that is to subscribe to the channel, right? If, if, if you subscribe, down below, there's a little button that says subscribe. Hit that button, hit the little bell next to it. It'll turn on your notifications so that when we put out a new video, you can get the video as well. You'll get notified. And give us a like, hit the thumbs up, and we'd love to hear from you. If you have any comments or, or suggestions or questions or even ideas for future videos, give us a comment down below and we'll take those into consideration. So uh, we, we headed down to Key Largo and the next night, Jeremy Dixon and a few faithful volunteers met us out there. It was really, really buggy. I mean, we had horse flies, we had yellow flies, deer flies, mosquitoes, no seams, you name it. It was a little buggy. My beautiful wife elected <laughs> to stay in the hotel room that night. But my kids came. We found 74 species of moths that night. Yay. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> we had found 74 species of moths, a few new things, 
Um, we had a great night. Here's some images uh, and video from our time in Key Largo in Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge. Check it out. BioBlitz 2018 was a pretty good success. I mean, we didn't have the best uh, conditions. We got rained out a lot on Big Pine Key. We had a full moon to deal with, which is not the best conditions for uh, looking for moths. But both on Big Pine Key and on Key Largo, a really cool moth made an appearance, probably one of the highlights of the trip for me. Uh, it's called the Jeweled Satyr Moth. It's Phrygionis Paradoxa. It's a beautiful little geometric moth. Uh, we found a male down on Big Pine Key, which is actually the first uh, specimen we found in the Southern Keys. We found them several times in the Northern Keys, but uh, that's the first one we found down there. So that was really cool. Uh, another really neat thing is probably several months ago, there was this incredible infestation of uh, Liermeyer Edwards Eye, the Edwards wasp moths, and they were those caterpillars were just decimating all the big strangler figs in the Florida Keys and we had we saw these massive 50 60 foot strangler fig trees without a leaf on them completely defoliated and for I don't know whatever happened but maybe some kind of a uh, um, predator was not present or something like maybe her effects of Hurricane Irma but these moths were just decimating all these trees uh, and now the, the ficus trees have recovered, the strangler figs trees have recovered, and they're pushing out all this new growth. So with all the new growth on the strangler fig trees, we actually saw the appearance and the abundance of two of these incredibly beautiful uh, little tiny micro moths that feed on ficus there in the metal mark moth family. We have this uh, tortyra species that's very uh, unique to the southernmost keys. It was the only place we found it, and they were abundant. We got some really cool video of that. And up here on Key Largo, uh, Hemorophilia diva, the diva moth, is beautiful, beautiful little moth. They were the they were the most abundant moth at the sheet, and that's no doubt because of all of the uh, all the new growth on the strangler fig trees, which their larvae would depend on for uh, for food. So. Uh, there were some neat moths at the sheet. We saw Paragonia lusca. We've got some uh, Phrixus caicus. We saw a six-spotted hawk moth. Some really neat things. Um, it was a little buggy. We have these deer fly things that were swarming us. No seams down on Big Pine Key, but that's exactly what you got to put up with in order to uh, have successful mothing. Thanks for watching, guys. It really means the world to us that you join us into this episode and um, share with us. The time that we had in the Florida Keys um, the, for the second annual BioBlitz. And hopefully next year we'll have another one as well. But for this year, we're very thankful that you joined us for this episode and that you enjoyed. Yeah, Christy Killam from uh, Big Pine Keys, she was great. Uh, the folks down there were amazing. They added to our, to our program. I've gotten a lot of images from them. Uh, from the people that came and did some photography for us. You can check out the link on our website. It's www.keysmods.com. We have a link to the BioBlitz event. Uh, it has all the images that all the folks came and took those pictures and yes. sent them in to me. And, and we gave you photo credit for them on the, on the, on the uh, website. So uh, next year, we hope to get some more folks out that can participate, bring their cameras, take some pictures of moths. A lot of people never thought they'd be actually taking pictures of moths, but it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> So take some pictures of moths, email them to, to me, and we'll get them on the website. So um, Jeremy Dixon up in Key Largo, fantastic guy. Thank you so much for all you guys did. Uh, we found, we identified 124 species of moths in the Florida Keys. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.